Hey guys, good morning. It's Sonia waking up on this Friday morning. How are you? Are you ready to attack the day? Are you ready to get done today? Who's here with me this morning? Say good morning. I know I do have my cup of coffee, so at least there's that, right? Let's see if this broadcast is working okay. It's Sonia with Jug Monkey Pain Company, and if you're new around these parts, well... Business has changed my life. I love business and I love talking business with other fellow creatives who also want to design a life that they love too. So if you're here with me, be sure to leave a comment. I'm going to watch and make sure that we are going good and strong. Just like I like my coffee. <laughs> hey, Lisa, Naomi's on here. Naomi, what time is it for you over there? Darlene, Jacqueline's on here. Can you believe this week is like just completely... Blown by so fast. Bridget, Chris, Libby, Tish. Hey, guys, girls. Hey, girls. So, yeah, this week is flying by. And when you think about it, you know, how many weeks do we have in a year, right? And so already we're out of week one. And now we're ready for week two. And that's how time gets away from you, right? When you're just like, wow, it's just flying by. Hi, Linda. I am so glad you're here. How are you this morning? Brandy's on here. Good morning. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Are you guys working today? So tell me, curious, when you're listening to me right now live, some of you guys will listen to me later on replay, but when you're listening to me live, are you at home right now? Do you have me in the front seat of your, of your car right now? Am I driving somewhere with you right now? Let me know. Getting close to, is it 10 o'clock? Oh, getting close to one. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of time o'clock. Getting close to 1,000 subscribers. I know. How exciting is that, right? Hi, Jocelyn. She says, hey, hey. I'm so glad that you guys are here. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit more today. And what we're doing is 365 days of morning meetups to help grow your business, to stay in your lane, to get some motivation, to get some good business tips. And I've got a really, really good one for you today. So I hope you're, I'm glad you're here if you're listening you must be listening if you're here. And um, yeah, right. I hope you're listening if you're here because I got a really, really good tip for you today. It's going to help you with engagement. And we started talking about that yesterday. I kind of got two things I'm going to share with you today, two really, really good things. So yesterday uh, we talked about, um, well, at the very end, I should say, let's just focus on that. At the very end, we talked about even if you put up a picture of yourself Usually it does better than other posts that you put on your social media because instantly people go, you're a human, I'm a human, I connect with you, I like your smiley face, you have a, you're a beautiful person, and you know what, I'm going to give you some love today, right? It just, just always works out that way. Now, one of the things I said when I talked to you guys yesterday, and I didn't draw attention to this, so I'm going to see how many of you, you can go back and you can review your own page and what you put down. But how many of you noticed that I, when I told you and gave you instructions to put up a picture and I said to you, even if there's a piece of furniture behind you, grab a cup of coffee and say, you know, who's something to the effect of I'm working on this piece, who else is ready to attack the day with me or who else is ready to, you know, get on this, this day or something like that, right? Who, without me drawing attention to it, noticed that one of the things I did there was not only put the picture up and talk to tell you about that, but throw in a question. Did you miss that part? I was curious to see how many of you would pick up on that part yesterday. And only you will know if you did or not, because go back and look what you posted, okay? So at the very end, I threw in a question, because guess what? Questions lead to engagement. You're asking somebody something, okay? This is the most simplest way to explain it. If my husband, if I'm laying on the bed and my husband walks by and he says, I'm going to run downstairs, I mean, he's letting me know he's going to the kitchen or something. I'm going to run downstairs. I'm doing something on the bed. I'm reading, whatever. Okay, mental note taken. Now, if my husband walks by me and he says something like, I'm going to run downstairs. Did you want anything from the kitchen? Well, now that's got my attention. Yeah, actually bring me up a bottle of water or, you know, grab something from me from the fridge and bring it back upstairs because I don't want to walk down and you're going down there, right? That's a question. I'm going down there versus I'm going down there. Did you want me to bring something back up to you? Do you see the difference? So how many of you guys are posting on your social media, which is all about engagement, but you're talking to people and you're telling people, but you're not asking people something. I'm just going to sit here and see what you think of that. You tell me what you think of that. 
Hey, how are you, Brenda? She says seven here in West Tennessee. Ooh, do you have sunshine down there this morning? Good morning, Vintage Forest Five. She's got her cup of coffee up there showing. It's 7 a.m. You leave for work at 8 a.m. Very nice. It probably helps out that I'm on the East Coast, right? So for some of you guys, you might be listening to this while you're uh, doing your makeup and things like that, right? Hi, Nancy. Uh, you are so welcome. I am glad that you are here. Terry, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Tish says, get home, getting ready to homeschool, getting ready to get in the zone and do what she's got to do. Hi, Lauren, Jerry. Very nice. Naomi says, yes, good. Naomi threw in a question. Good deal. Bridget says she posted her dogs. No question. So try it again. Try it again. Okay, so Jocelyn says, when I've posted a question, which is not often, people either like the post or move on. Well, a like is still engagement, right? But they never seem to answer it. Well, maybe I should talk to you about certain types of questions that we can ask because some questions are better than others. Kim says, good morning, Candy, Belinda. So yeah, think about that. If social media is engagement and you're putting posts out there, are you just putting posts out there that people are going to scroll by and you haven't asked them to even engage in what you're doing, right? That's what you want to do. And you got to like create a good question. So I'll talk more about questions like what ones really, really stand out compared to others because no two questions are equal. Did you even know that as well? But the first step, baby steps here is that I want you to make sure and go back and review your post on your page. When was the last time you asked your people a specific question? All right. So I'm going to tell you, nobody got time to these big, wide open questions. If I see a question that says, you know, what do you think about the secrets to the universe? Oh, man, I've got my own universe to run, right? That's a big, wide open question. So narrow questions, okay, are going to be better. And I'll get into that more, all right? But that is a very big, important tip you have to do. So Lisa says, I get lots of likes, but no response to the question. So we might have to work on your questions. But remember, a response is a good response because... Whether somebody leaves you a comment, gives you a share, or gives you a heart, that is somebody with somebody that you stopped mid scroll in a sea of a lot of other posts out there. They took the time out of their day to stop on your post and to give you a thumbs up. Now, what happens as we talk about and we meet up here every morning? This is how I, I think about. Um, this is just my personal way, probably because. You know what? I like Super Mario Brothers, okay? All right. I love Princess Peach of Super Mario Brothers. Who's played video games where you get that little thing in the corner, whatever you're playing, the corner of your screen, and it might be full of hearts. And you got to eat, like, I don't know, you got to eat turnips, and the hearts will go up and you get full throttle, right? You got full life force, okay? Some of you guys, right now, starting off on this 365 days of training, You've depleted those hearts, okay? You've depleted your life force in the corner of your screen on your Facebook page. Facebook page is really not liking you because you've done some stuff that they don't like. And so I'm going to talk about a little bit more about one of the things that you could be doing that honestly your page is not getting as good as reach. So you're, po you're putting posts up. Maybe you just don't have a ton of followers just yet because number one, we'll talk more about this, is that Facebook doesn't show your stuff to all your people. Only a percentage of that pie is going to see your stuff. So that's why you got to make sure that you post good stuff and engaging stuff. So if you're getting people to like that stuff, that is awesome. There's room for improvement, right? But also know that if you've done some things on your page in the past that is a no-no on social media, it could mean that when you're posting as well, that not as many people are seeing your posts and therefore your numbers are low as well. You're still getting some, but maybe not, you're not working to your full potential, okay? So I am going to show you and talk to you this over as we continue every single day and how to make sure you top up your life force <laughs> so when you put out a post, it's reaching more people. Hey, Barb, well, I am glad that you are here today. Chris, lots of likes, only a few shares. That is awesome. That is awesome that people are stopping to engage in what you're posting. Remember, it takes time. And you can't compare what you have because you have to go to somebody else. Because you know what makes a difference is how they've used their page, how you have used your page, and if Facebook is holding some of your stuff back. 
that's okay. We can repair it together. We can repair your life force together. And like I said, the other thing is if you will look at somebody else's page, look at the amount of followers they have compared to you. So they could have more followers, which means more, the bigger slice of the pie is seeing stuff versus you, right? Because 10% of, let's say 10% of 5,000 people liking your page is going to be greater than 10% of when you have a hundred likes on your page, right? That's why it's important. We talked about social proof already on here, and it's really important to work on making sure that you get engagement so that you can um, increase your likes and um, your followers so that more people, when you have a bigger, when you have a, I don't know, a bigger, you cast a bigger net, I guess is the biggest way to say it, is the best way to say it, right? You have, there's more fish in your pond. So when your net goes down, there's, there's a greater chance of getting more fish to pull up, right? So think about like that in terms of people, all right? That your audience, your spear, your spear of influence, all right? So that's why it's always important. And I do think it is important to grow, always grow your page, to never get crazy about it, but to do the right things that your page is always slowly growing and doing the right things. So when you do post, you're hitting more people. There's more people down there, right? If you go to the carnival and you drop your hook into the fish pond and you know what? They only got three fish down and they're floating around, all right? And then you go into another one and you know what? You pull up and all the hooks are together. You know what I'm talking about. We've all been there. Then yeah, you're going to, you're going to catch more, right? So you got to work on growing your pond, right? Hi, Patty. Barbara says, so that is a start with the likes and or shares. You got it because you could have had none. Hi, Amy. How are you? Sandra says she lives in Georgia, but now she's in Michigan. Oh, she's probably experiencing, experiencing a chilly day up there today. So at, like I said, that's that's the difference. And here's something as well that I want you to think about that in, in terms of how you run your page and stuff that are no-nos and maybe you've been doing it. So that means that you could have, maybe you have 5,000 people on your page compared to 1,000 and they're even getting more likes than you. And you're like, how? It's because, like I said, your life force might have been ran down because there are pages out there. Have you ever been to a page where they have, oh my gosh, they could have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers. But you know what's important is the engagement, right? Because they have all these people, but nobody is seeing their stuff because they haven't ran their Facebook page right. And so somebody that has hundreds and thousands of likes could literally be getting the same amount of likes and shares and comments as somebody who is starting their page off and are in the very beginnings of growing their Facebook page. So it's all in how you run it. Good morning, Debbie. So Terry says, should you try to post daily? Yes. First thing, you should aim to post at least two to three times a day, two to three times a day. Now, I've told you, and hey, good morning, Kim. I've told you that Facebook doesn't show your stuff to everybody, right? So you've got to make sure that you take the time to put out a couple posts a day, right? To try to break through that barrier a little bit. So that is the first thing I'm going to tell you today is, okay, post two to three times a day on your Facebook page. That's what you're going to want to aim for. We'll talk more about scheduling posts and uh, getting a little bit more nitty gritty as we go along. Remember bite-sized pieces, right? Every day, start to just think about how you've posted on your page and go, okay, how can I change, right? So, because we all talk different ways on our Facebook pages. But yeah, you're going to want to grow your audience so that you can increase your sales. It just, you, you have more people. If you have more people in the room, that when you do talk about your offer, your product, your service, your solution that you're offering to them, chances are more people will partake of that offer. It's just, you know, that's just normal in sales. The more people you're able to present to, the greater the chance of more people that will take you up on your offer, right? So that's why we're always growing. Make sure that you do your invite that I uh, showed you guys how to do this past week. Make sure you're doing that daily as well. Go back and watch that vlog if you missed it. All this stuff comes together, right? to be able to, you get better at it and it becomes very mindless because after a while it just goes, oh yeah, I got to do that. And it just makes sense. And you start to see the difference that it makes. Okay. So yes, post two to three times a day on your Facebook page, on your social media. Yes. You should be on a Facebook business page. If you missed that blog, that vlog on here, that, that morning chat on here, where I told you about why you need a business page and how you use it, go back and watch that. You see how all the pieces are coming together. So make sure as you listen daily, that you're writing down what you need to do because it's all going to add up to the sum of goodness, okay? 
So the next thing is post a question. We talked about that here this morning. Start posing questions. And I'm going to go deeper into questions and just questions that would, would make sense, all right? So some of you guys are going to post questions, but your questions are not going to be tweaked just right just yet. But you got to start somewhere and you got to start getting in the mind frame that when I post something, it's a two-way street. And if I want engagement, and sometimes you post stuff just to tell people about it, but you know what? There's also, you know, if you just need to get it out there, right? But at the same time, you also want to be very thoughtful and think to yourself that, hey, I need to make keep my page going. Because if your page is going and you're not getting a ton of engagement over a period of time, not just one post, but it's over a period of time, Facebook's going to go, hmm, people don't find this page very interesting. You know what? Maybe we don't need to show it to that many people, right? That's why I say there's things that you do to build up your life force. And sometimes your life force takes what I call hits, okay? And this is just my illustration because I live in Super Mario World, okay? So if you have a have your, you know, your little thermometer of your life force up there, and sometimes you write words, for example, you, you put out posts, for example, and but you do it at when you're at the top of your life force and it might knock you down. But you know what? You've you've kept your page in such good standing and you've kept your page ran the proper way that when you do that, it reaches more people because you've built it up. And then if you put something out that's a little bit not quite how Facebook would like you to say it, well, that's okay. Because if it knocks you down a little bit, you're still not at rock bottom, right? You, you keep on the higher end of the algorithm, all right? The higher end of the algorithm, so that way more people are seeing what you're posting, okay? And this is the third thing I'm going to leave you with today. Words that you should not say. So even if you've asked a question, even if you've been posting regularly on your social media, there are words that you should not say because social media is just that. It's all about being social. And when you talk to your friends, there's probably not, these words that I'm about to say are probably not going to be in your vocabulary because let's be honest, friends don't talk <laughs> like robots. All right. Still brainstorming a name. Yep, you'll get there. You'll get there, but set a deadline for yourself, all right? Let's see here. Join a group as a page. Post in groups. You will get more likes and followers if the group allows you to post as a business because some groups know that businesses come into groups to just totally spam them out, right? So use wield your power uh, when you are in. If you get in, if you get accepted into a group and you are using, you are under your business page, which this week we talked about joining groups and um, making sure you create a business page. That if you find a group that will allow you to sign as a business page, because most groups are to be social and they don't want people to be pressured to buy stuff. But if you do find a group that allows you to join as a business page, make sure you use it uh, in the right manner to be helpful, to add value and never, ever to um, to post about sales and deals and all that sorts of stuff. Right. Because that's spammy stuff. So as long as you're going in there to, like I said this week, to add value. And then remember, I also told you this week, I also told you this week that go into your personal profile and add your business name in there. So to add on top of that, that when you're in a group and you're commenting, yes, people get nosy because you're adding value. And you're like, this girl, this cat knows her stuff. They click on your name. They go to your business page. And that is a great way to get followers. So do you see it's all coming together, right? Awesome. So some of the words that you want to avoid, all right? You don't talk to your friends like this, right? You know, you don't say stuff like, um, come over and you might win a blanket. You know, oh, uh, you know, share my stuff. I've got a giveaway going on today. Like what kind of friend talks like that to other people? Like I said, sometimes you do posts like that. Not, it's a one in a million, you know what I mean? But it's not all the time, right? You do it when, you're, when your life force is at the top, when you're at full life force, all right? So some words. Believe it or not, using the word like. How many of you use the word like in your post? All right. How many of you use the word share in your post, comment in your post, tag in your post, follow me in your post, join me in your post? Okay. And then you get into other words that I've written down, stuff like that I stay away from, things like free, freebie, discount. Let me, you know what? Let me just put up some bright lights here. Okay. So you guys can see it this morning. All right. Cause this doesn't sound like a going out of business sale, going out of business sale, get your bargain today. Join now deals, 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 subscribe, click join discount. You know, you see what I'm saying, right? 
Those are all words that you think of the most stereotypical business that always has a going at a business sale, right? Or has those, you know, the twerky people in the front, okay? They're the big, loud, they, they just go with a completely different business plan, all right? That's not what we're doing here. We're building relationships. We're not coming and buy my, I don't know, coming and buy my, my something that I have here for 99 cents, right? You're doing services for people. You're going to people's homes. You know, like I said yesterday, the people who stand out in front of their business um, will be the ones that will grow more, will grow faster in 2020. People do business with people that they like, they know, and they trust. So that doesn't help you, right? That just seems really salesy, really cheap, really non-valuable, really just, I don't know. How about you? How does the, how does those words make you feel? Let me say them again. Like, comment, share, tag, follow, win, sponsored, Add commission, free discount, giveaway, deal, bargain, click, subscribe, join. Does that give you anxiety? It gives me anxiety <laughs> just hearing that, right? But we're using those words in our post, and that is not how human beings talk to other human beings. They get up and they say, How are you this morning? All right. <laughs> they get up and they say, This is what I'm doing. Do you have one you want to do this too with? Follow, you know, not even follow me. Let's go hang out, right? Using words. You see that? I threw the word hang out there, right? That's a whole lot better than join and share and follow and click. Oh, and the word link. Oh my gosh. And then there's a whole topic of dropping links within your post. That's something else we're going to talk about on here. So when you learn the words to avoid, Facebook wants you to be social. And so it wants people to stay on the Facebook platform, right? Blowout. That's such a good one. Yes. Tell, tell me what other good ones you have, right? Those are just the ones I came up with this morning. But so you, so you could get the idea. Anything that sounds like it should be on like a bargain hut front sign to get people to pull into the, the driveway of that bargain hut, you know, the haggle hut to come inside and get a good deal. That's the stuff that you should not post, okay? How do you feel? Linda says, it sounds desperate. Yes, it does. Kim says, yes, it does. It makes me nuts. Yes. Vintage Forest Finds says, links and post. Is that bad? Yes, it is. I'll, but I'll tell you, I'll talk a bit more about links. Uh, Chris says, sounds like a used car dealer. Yeah, you ain't no used car dealer. <clears throat> Chris, I know you. You are not no used car dealer. <clears throat> Chris is sharing some good advice. She says, I learned from corporate that you never say you need to do this. You have to do this. <clears throat> Sandra says, what is the advantage of going live versus posting a video? Oh, that's a good topic. We're going to talk about live as well. And, um, but I'll, I'll give you a quick in, in, like in a nutshell answer. Um, when you go live, Facebook shows your post to more people. They give, uh, they give preference to people who go live. Live video definitely promotes social, right? You know, it's, it's you know, I've definitely tried and tested this. <laughs> um, and if you ever feel like your page is getting depleted, one of the quickest ways to power it back up is to go live. And so for some of you guys, you're nervous yet to go live and you'll get there. You'll get there. If you stick with me this year, I promise you'll get there. I'll have you convinced that you're, you're like, this is, this is like a do or die. Like you got to just do this. You got to jump and you got to have faith. And everybody out there is doing it is still alive and you will too, but I will convince you. Okay. Trish says, how about, oh yeah, BOGO, buy one, get one. Totally put that on the band word list. There's so many ways that you can say stuff without having to say these trigger words. All right. Exactly. That is completely correct. Live gives gives your gives you more subscribers and views totally you know um there are people and there's times when you don't go live there's times when i mean for me there's times that i just my business doesn't allow me to jump on and go live right now it's just it's just not not you know right now it's not a good time i can't do it because i'm, I'm so busy i'm taking care of some other priorities so you jump on go live a couple weeks on your facebook page uh, a couple times on your facebook page a week that's going to be awesome um, but there are people and they will tell you there are people that go get right to it. I don't want to go live. And then there are people who go, no, I would rather watch a live video so I can interact with you. And then I could ask you questions, right? Live gets easier because as people show up and you're giving value, they will start to ask you questions. And you know what, if you're wondering, what am I going to talk about? If you just engage and listen to your followers, like right now I'm talking to you guys, right? I'm not all spewing information right now. I'm going live with you guys. 
And there are people who tell me, I love it when you go live. I love the, I love it that I get to hang out. I love being in the live setting. I just feel like it's real time. We're talking back to each other. We're a part of a live community. There's a community that happens in the comments versus when you just post a video, a standalone video. And there are times you post a standalone video and there are times that you go live. But variety is the spice of life. And so you start really mixing it up, right? Terry says, great advice. Next catering event, I'm going to go live. Put on, very nice. Good for you. Good for you. You will definitely find more customers. Look me in the eyeballs. You will find more customers. You will pick up more followers and subscribers if you go live. All right. Naomi says, I started going live regularly on the third live. Yes, people turned up and commented. <clears throat> okay, so that's important. I love that you just said that. So the third live. If you've never, if you've never been in front of your page before, well, number one, it's going to take people a little bit to get warmed up to you, right? They're probably not going to say good morning. Like you guys all say good morning to me. There are people that are just meeting me now in this business coaching group. And now by this is what, this is day 10. This is my 10th video that I'm putting in here. And now people are warming up and go, you know what? Sonia's is not that bad. She's not that scary. I can say good morning to her. Everybody else is saying good morning. She's showing up in here. You know what? I'm going to say good morning too. But sometimes people watch at the very beginning. There might be people right now listening to this video. I have no doubt. There are people right now listening to this video that are, are not commenting, right? There are people that are watching from afar to see what you're saying right now, but they don't really have a personal connection with you. They want to see whether or not, you know, before, before that bond is formed, whether or not you're somebody who's going to be friendly, if they're going to like you, if they're going to like your style. Remember, you're not for everyone and you never want to be um, everything to everyone because then what do you stand for? What, what are you known for, right? So stay in your lane. That's one of the, the successes of business. Just stay in your lane and know what you do, right? Instead of getting into a million, gazillion things, keeping the blinders on and really staying focused. But it takes a couple days for people to get warmed up to you before they're even going to talk to you. Do you ever go? I mean, you got to think like social media, just like when you go into a room of humans sitting on chairs. Is everybody talking to each other the very first time that you walk into a room? And even though you're saying things like, hello, I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm Sonia. This is what we're going to do today. And everybody's just kind of like sitting like, OK, they're smiling, but, you know, they don't, they don't want to talk in front of each other. They don't know who's here just yet, who's, who's going to hear them talk. Maybe they're not confident in themselves. They don't understand the kind of culture. Here I promote comedy. I love comedy. I love, I love making friends. So please comment, comment, comment. I love you guys getting to know each other. Like that's a whole other thing, right? But every, every business page has a different culture. And so you create the culture of being hospitable, being social, you know what, if you had invited people over into your home, right, um, you're not going to not talk to them. It's a two way street. Again, you ask the questions. Does that make sense? What we're all talking about here, right? But when you first start off, they may have never seen you, seen you before. So it really is very, it's not very warm because it takes a little while for them to get warmed up to you, right? And the other thing I wanted to say on top of what Naomi said there was it took her third live. It took her third live for people to start commenting, okay? Two things. So third lie, three lies for people to get warmed up and going back to what I told you earlier, because I'm telling you the truth here, my friends. Remember I said how the quickest way, if you have a dead page, a dying page, which means you just don't have engagement, people are not interacting with you and you want to get your life force, that little thermometer in the corner to zip, suck back up. So you got full power and you're at your best. You're reaching the most people. The quickest way to get your thermometer full again is to go live and not just once. All right. Because Facebook goes, OK, girl went live. All right. All right. OK. All right. That's good. That's good. She's using our bells and whistles. We made that on the platform. She's taking she's taking advantage of it. Oh, she went live again. Boom. Kudos to Naomi. All right. <clears throat> Facebook's like, yeah, girl, you like our stuff. You love our features that we have here on a platform. And now on the second day, people showed up and commented. And guess what? Naomi goes third, goes live a third time. It's like boom, 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 ding, ding, ding. All right, you get the prize. Facebook's going, oh, we love Naomi. Yes, she's using our features. She's going live. She's promoting community. She's talking to our people. And now from day one, day two, day three, all of a sudden people are commenting with her. Boom. All right, we're going to open the gates for Naomi a little bit wider. And when I say open the gates for a little bit wider for, Na for Naomi, that means when the gates, when the doors open, 
that means there's more reach, okay? Your room just became bigger. And now that life thermometer is back up again because you're doing the right things. So do you see the difference? Posting, again, like, comment, share, tag, follow, win, sponsor, commission, free, discount, giveaway, deal, bargain, 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 click, subscribe, join me, link, click the link, right? Ah, oh, which is gonna do better? Live, promoting community, Facebook social, or constantly having these icky, icky call to actions for people to do stuff like that, right? When I told you already, was it in yesterday's chat or the day before, people don't wake up every single morning wanting to buy what you have. But you know what people wake up every morning doing? Wanting to have a positive day, wanting to have a great day, wanting to see things in their feed that make them feel good, wanting to see their friends in their feed. Friends don't get up in the morning and text people these words, all right? Friends get up in the morning and they say, good morning, good morning. Grab a cup of coffee. Let's talk a little bit. I missed you. I want to hang out with you guys. <clears throat> Libby says, I don't comment <clears throat> during lives. Well, I'm so glad. Look, Libby, Libby's commenting today. See, I moved Libby to comment. She says, I don't comment during lives because I'm so enthralled with what you say. I feel like I'm missing something when you're typing. Give me a heart. So here's the other amazing thing is that, and based on what I just said, when you are listening to your favorite creator, creatives, and they're giving value and you're like, wow, I just love what he or she says, or they just make me think differently. They just make me feel better. They just put my day off to a good start. Or when I see them, it evokes good emotions within me. Even if you're not commenting, give them a heart because that's community, right? When you guys are on each other's pages and you see what you're doing and you're making friends, and you're visiting each other's business pages and we grow this group here and you're going, you're meeting all kinds of people and you're going live and you're giving support. I mean, if we all give support to each other, remember how I just explained to you, Facebook goes, oh, okay, she's doing it again and again. More, more and more people are showing up. All right, open the gates for anybody who's on here, right? We all support each other. And if you just leave a heart, that Facebook keeps track of the amount of hearts that you're getting, how amount of engagements that you're getting. They keep track of the amount of shares you get, the amount of comments. How do you think things go viral? It's because something has a proven track, rec track record of engagement. So one of the most amazing things that you can do for your fellow creatives, even if you don't want to leave a comment, is just leave them a heart because that is engagement. Having hearts help. Absolutely. I'm trying to think. I don't think YouTube has hearts, does it? YouTube has the comment section. That's why I always say, if you love this video, if you follow me over on my, and please right now, give this video, I'm going to say it here. I would love it if you would subscribe to me. I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I didn't lead with that. Of course, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Of course, I want you to like this video and leave me a comment below. It keeps my page. It keeps my page here rocking and rolling. It keeps your community growing. And then as a creative, it allows me to continue to show up here every single day for you. Right. Because when you are creative, remember that you do have to make sure that you're doing what makes sense. That keeps your doors open every day. You've got to do that. Right. And so I, even when, even if you're always getting value, even when the algorithms change, the robots and chairs that run all the stuff, if you keep showing up and giving value, it makes no difference if YouTube has a change to their algorithm, because you guys know already I've established what I do here, right? So you're going to show up and you're going to listen because, you know, every day I show up and I learn something new, something to think about. You know what I mean? I, Sonia always leaves me as she always says, I, she loves to leave people better than she found them, right? Just something to think about. So always give hearts and, and likes and leave a comment if you can for somebody who you, you truly love to watch, even a share. If you give a share, I mean, that is amazing if you can give somebody a share because everybody has friend circles that are, everybody has different friend circles. Let me just say that, right? Your friends on your list are different than my friends on my list. And so when you share a video, you don't even have to comment. You don't have to be part of that, all that chatter that's going down. Just giving a silent heart or a silent share it can allow that creator or creative to be seen by other people that positively love them as well and allow them to keep their doors open. You know, it makes me so sad when I see businesses that close down and um, because, you know, I have a brick and mortar store, I have my online business as well. So I, I know both parts of how that works. And, um, you know, it makes me sad when I see storefronts that close down and they struggle 
and maybe they don't have the best marketing strategies. That's why I'm glad you're here so that you can you know what you can do um, the hard work to be strategic about it to work, you know, work um, smarter, not harder. Like I said, working that working hard every day in your business doesn't mean digging ditches. It just means be more thoughtful, be more strategic, taking the time to do something for your business every single day. So you move forward, so you grow, you water, you water your plant, your seed. Right. But it makes me sad when I see businesses that close down and you don't even know that they're struggling until you see the post that comes out that says. Letting you know, guys, that after, I don't know, after a year in business, two years in business, we've decided to close down. How many of you have seen those? And those are the those are the uh, posts that seem to go viral. They get all the reactions versus the posts that people should have been liking all along when they're trying to tell people what they're doing and they're having classes and stuff like that, right? One of the biggest things that you can go do for a creator is I'm telling you, hit the heart button, hit, leave them a comment, give them a share. Because when more people, going back to what I said earlier, when more people know about you, you have a greater chance of more people coming in um, to take part in your business, right? They're going to more people to support you, to buy things from you because you just have a greater pond. And a lot of businesses struggle, um, you know, they set up a business. And in the very first chat we had on here, I gave that really crazy statistic about how many people, how many businesses, I think I still have it here, how many businesses fail in the first year. New beginnings can be tough, especially for entrepreneurs. For 21.5 of small businesses, the journey ends before the first year is over. If more people shared and gave hearts and things like that, that would really help them give them a running start, right? Because more people know about them. And then this is what, this is what comes on those uh, posts, right? When they say they're now closing, they made that hard, brave decision to go, it doesn't make sense for me to stay open anymore. And then um, people co comment below going, oh, this was my, one of my favorite places to shop. You know, um, I haven't been there in, I don't know, half a year or I was just there last year. Well, it takes more than somebody coming last year, right? Because that business has bills to pay every single day of the year. And even though that person back there that they're just said that they last year I was there, we make our annual trip there. I'm, I'm so, you know, I'm so upset. I'm going to miss it so much. I love it. Or, oh my gosh, I was just there in January and now it's December. You know, at the end of the day, it's hard to keep a brick and mortar store open more than ever, more than ever. When now we have people who want to go on Amazon and buy stuff right now and have it, you know, shipped to their door. They don't want to deal with a live person. Um, so the brick and mortar people are very brave people. They have a lot of on their shoulders, a lot of responsibilities. And that's why I say when I walk down the street and I see a bunch of businesses, I think to myself, wow, those are some brave business owners because I know what it takes. I know you, if you have a brick and mortar store, I feel you right now because I know that the things that people don't even realize before you open your door in the beginning of the month, all the expenses that you have, right. And you are truly taking a gamble. There's no reservations on sales. You don't know what you're going to sell this month. You just know, you just do your best to do what you can do. You, you educate yourself. You put yourself in groups like this so that you can stay above and that you can do things that make sense, especially in this day and age when you're going to really need a good social media strategy and how to grow your business. And we're going to also talk about it here for people who have brick and mortar stores about displaying your stuff and things that you can do within your storefront, right? We've got a whole year plan of good stuff in here. I just want you to know that as well. But going online is going to be an important part of it, right? So for the people who go, I'm so sad that you're closing. Well, did you actually support the business owner? Showing up once a year when they're open 365 days, you know, you got to think to yourself. At the very least, if you couldn't show up yourself in person, do something for free for them. Give their post a heart. Give their post a like. Leave them a comment because just like all you guys are on here, and you're going, oh my gosh, I want to get more likes. I want to get more comments, right? You have to do the same thing for somebody else. It just kind of comes full circle, right? And um, and it helps you. So why wouldn't you think it wouldn't help somebody else, right? That that are looking at that and going, oh my gosh. Remember, remember, there is, you know what? Everything starts off at the bottom. I too had one Facebook um, Facebook follower on Facebook. Like I remember when I started my Facebook page, I can remember to this day sitting on the edge of my couch, like in front of my coffee table, I can still picture it in my mind, setting it up on my phone and then going, Hey Matt, would you like my page? Singing out to my, my son going, well, you're like mom's business page, Riley. <laughs> we all start somewhere, right? Chris says, um, 
she says, I posted on a personal group without makeup and I got lots of comments. People like real people. People like real people. I ain't showing up here in like full on dress suit this morning. This is 8 a.m. in the morning. Let's keep it real here, people, right? Real people <laughs> get up and ease into their day, okay? And they fumble over their words. And you know what? That's just being normal. And normal people connect with normal people, okay? It keeps it real. It truly keeps it real. Billy says, one lady was watching and she said, subscribe right now. I work my butt off all day on this video for you. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting topic. Sometimes, you know what? Sometimes you just get real, right? Sometimes you just get real. Oh, too funny. But yeah, you you do, right? You work, you yeah, you work hard for your business. And so, of course, you want to be appreciated. You want to be seen. Barbara said, it is sad when people close their businesses. I agree. And you know what? We're sad when a business goes out of business, but you know what? Maybe they tried for as long as they could. And I think that when people close businesses, trust me, they're at a point where they know that it just makes more sense, right? That rather than hurt their own personal finances. And it's not, I don't look when somebody closes a business that have truly, you know, tried, you know, made sure that they, every day they, every day they worked hard for their business, every day they showed up for their business and they tried different things to, um, you know, to, to really just serve their community better. They, they legitimately ran their business with all their heart and they close. That's a brave person because that's a very, very hard decision to make. That's a dream. Businesses are dreams. I mean, think about your dream, right? Whether you want to make extra money this month, um, you want to save up for a vacation, you want to just have extra, extra finances so it's not so hard living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, whatever it is, right? You have a, you have, we talked about our why in here, right? Everybody has different whys. Somebody started that business because deep down inside they had a reason. And it's really sad when when good businesses go out of business because that was a dream that felt like it got cr probably crushed to them, right? It really did. And when you think about it that way and they're brave to put their name on the side of a business where everybody can see whether or not they succeed or they fail, that's the reason a lot of businesses don't get off the ground because you're putting yourself out there so publicly that you're like... I want to do this. This is scary, right? That's why you need all the help you can get. That's why we need to help each other. Bridget says she's nine months into her new business and she's doing okay. Good for you. But she says, I'd like to be doing great. Jody says, is this all for Facebook? How do we cross into Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube? So no, this, if you mean this business uh, group here, no, every single morning, there's business motivation, advice, and coaching, but it's 365 days a year, right? If I had to sit on here and tell you everything about business right now, we'd need more than a year. So every morning, I break down one topic. So right now, we're talking about Facebook for these few days, and there's so much more. And then we'll take a break, and we'll talk about some other stuff. But sometimes it just makes sense to have a couple of sessions together talking about um, something that goes together, right? Right. But yep, yeah, and leave me a question if there's something that you'd like me to cover. Remember, this group is for you, Jody. So ask me a question. When you said, how do we cross into Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube? Tell me what you would like to know. Be specific. Uh, good question. What is the initial investment to sell your paint if you qualify? Feel free to send me an email over at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. Oh, you're so welcome. Yep. So tune in every single morning, Jody. Make sure, like I told you, you have your pen, your paper. Um, there are people that won't want to cross over into Instagram. They go, mm -mm, I don't know anything about it. It's going to take me a while to get there. There are people that won't cross over. Um, I think you said Twitter is one of them. Oh, I hate Twitter. I have a Twitter account. Don't use it. I'll talk to you about Twitter one day <laughs> and all the different things, right? So you can't be all the places. You have to get good at some, some place and then it makes sense to continue to grow from there, right? I mean, if you walked into a gym and you saw all the gym machines that are going to get your body in shape, and you're looking at all the different ones and you go, which one do I jump on? You can't be, you can't jump on every single one and do a targeted workout, right? You have to figure out, oh, this one's for your abs and this platform is good for this. Oh, okay. This one over here is going to build strength in my legs. And this one is for good over here, right? You get to the point where every single day you go to the gym, you try it a new machine, you get better at it, you learn about it. And maybe you got one that's really good for me. 
start on the treadmill, right? Let's start on the treadmill with the very basics, all right? Just get moving. And then when you want to get more targeted, right, then you jump onto something else. It's the same sort of thing in business. If you try to be all the places, you're not going to do a good job. You start juggling and you have you start with maybe two balls just to kind of start to switch them over in your hands. All right. And then you get good. And guess what? You're going to add more stuff. And then you see like then you're juggling with, with all kinds of balls. You might have five or six in your hands and everything. But you got to start somewhere. Right. You're not going to get to that point without you don't run before you crawl. And so 365 days of business training. Brady says, okay, after doing this, I'm going to put on my big girl panties and do a live this weekend. Good for you. And when you first start doing lives, not a whole lot of people will show up. You haven't cracked that uh, Facebook algorithm just yet. Remember how I told you Facebook's going to test you because there are people that will go live as well. Remember those little robots, they try to uh, pick up on all the words that you're saying. Why do you think there's a delay on Facebook? All right. So they can monitor what you're saying. Right there, because basically in, in the algorithms, the robots are transcribing what you're saying. So when you go live the first time, if you're saying words like all those bad list of words that I told you not to say today. And you know what? I'll talk about. The, how about I, we talk about the good ones that you should replace it with, too. Right. So I want to make sure I break this up so your mind doesn't get blown, because I've talked a lot about a lot of good stuff today. I talked about questions. I'm going to get more into making sure that you know the right questions to ask. Um, we've talked about words not to say, and we've also talked about going into to why, right? Deeper into our why of why you don't say those because you're not you're not one of those storefronts. Um, but when you go on your Facebook page and you go live, you're not going to get a whole lot of engagement the very first time. People are cold to you; they may have never seen you before. So use it, chalk it up as some good practice for you to get polished because where we start is not where we finish, right? And so. It'll help you get the legs. And you can honestly say to people, hey, guys, this is Brenny. You've probably never seen my face before. I hope to do more live videos. And today is my very first one. So bear with me. Give me some love. Send me a heart if you see me. And um, bear with me here. I'm going to see if we can get my camera set up because would you guys like, I've been showing you guys my creations. Would you guys like to see me um, do some of these lives so we can hang out, right? Now, let me just practice getting my camera in place. If you go at it and you truly tell people what you're doing, like honesty is the best policy, right? If you come out and you tell people to bear with me um, that, you know, because at the end of the day, we are all just a work in progress, okay? They're a work in progress. You're a work in progress. And when you approach it that way, like help me help you. If you're truly serving your people, they will say, oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I like that angle. Oh, yeah, you're right in a good place right there. You see what I'm saying? And then Facebook starts to see that when you go live, you're not going live with all those terrible words that we just talked about. They go, OK, we're going to open the gates a little bit more. And that's why it takes not just doing it once, but it takes it doing multiple times to get up to the full life force. Yes, you could definitely do that, Lisa. She says Instagram will post your post. Well, will post your post to Facebook. Is it still good to use that feature? It is for me, though. I like to um, I like to post organically to both places. Um, I don't like all the hashtags. To be completely honest with you, I don't like all the hashtags that pulls into Facebook because hashtags are more relevant on Instagram. But you can do that when you're just starting out because it is better to post something than not at all. And Facebook owns Instagram, so that's a good, right? A lot of these platforms, they're, they're competition to each other. Facebook doesn't want you taking, go, taking anybody off Facebook, right? It wants people to stay on Facebook. And that's a whole other chat. It's a whole other chat. But to answer your question, yes, do that, especially in the very beginning if you don't have time to fill, fill your post up, right? But I don't really like all the hashtags over on Facebook. I would rather just pull up a organically pull up a picture from my my camera that I've taken on my phone, pull it up organically because that's that's truly organic, right? Like that is when you think social and being as raw and as personable and as non cross posting as possible. Like it, it's that's what somebody does. Somebody would pull up a picture and post a picture of their kid or their animal. I pull I just happen to pull up pictures and pull up pictures of sometimes my animal, but furniture, right? I just think it works better that way. 
<clears throat> Good for you. Okay. The Real Real Housewives says, I did my picture yesterday and I was a good student. Yes. We all start somewhere. It gets easier. Yeah. So I'll talk about more about three posts today and all that good stuff. Oh, there's so much to tell you guys. There really is. So tell me, are you finding this group helpful? Are you starting to think about stuff maybe in different ways that you really never thought about it before? Are you like, yes, please continue to do this. Tell me. I like to hear from you. And I also like to hear specific questions from you guys, right? Um, because that helps me figure out what I'm going to talk about every single day, what makes sick and what makes sense. Because we've got 365 days and I really want to carve it out as much as possible. So that way, you know what? If you come back to watch something, you know what? Sonia talked about a gazillion things in here. Do I have to fast forward? Do I have to rewind? No. She did her best to keep it really focused on one topic. Um, so that way it's, it's easier. Right. And so, yeah, you a confused mind is a terrible thing. So yeah, it, yeah. Let's just focus on one thing at a time. I'm seeing some yeses. Very helpful. Yes. Thank you. I was so lost. Extremely helpful. Yes. It's helpful. Yes, yes, yes. Please continue. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Shonda says, I need it. 365 days of knowledge. And she says she uses the word nudging. Isn't that the truth? Sometimes just knowing that you're not the only one out there. Um, because like I said, being in business can be very, very lonely. And it's nice to have a place to go with helpful people, that people that get it, that you're not the only one out there. They have struggles too. Um, and so business, you know, I'm not going to be that person that tells you business is all ponies and rainbows and cotton candy. And that's why not, <clears throat> that's why not everybody has a business. But is it satisfying? Can it change your life? Can it give you a sense of purpose? Um, and before and as you go on in business, you find clarity through what you're talking about. You find the things that you do love, what you don't love. You leave those behind. You do more of what you love, what your people want you to do. And you find a sense of purpose, of happiness and to me, happiness is success. I want to be happy every single day, right? And I want you guys to be happy every single day. So let's work through it together so we can live our very best lives. Barbara says, I will have to watch replays. Totally, Barbara. And so you can listen to this. I thought about doing a podcast, to be totally honest with you. Um, but I kind of like this. I like being visual with people. I like being live, interacting with the comments with people. I really have come to love um, this YouTube space. And so, so yeah, I'm going to keep, go keep them going here. And I think it's, I, I like this better than a podcast personally, because I can see the person, but I can, but now you have the option, right? You can turn this, my phone. I always say, I don't take, you know, just, just turn me upside down. You don't have to look at my face. All right. Don't just turn me upside down. All right. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Well, now we've been chatting for an hour here. Turn the uh, video upside down. Listen as you're doing the drive to work. Um, listen on your lunch break. If you just want to spend a lunch break with me and when I would work corporate and I couldn't wait to get home so I could work on the business that I truly love, which is the one that came from my heart, which is the business that you see today, Junk Monkey Paint Company, um, I would use my my business break, my lunch break to sit there and I would take my agenda and I would write out stuff that I want to do, like my goals. Like I want to pick up so many pieces of furniture, like that's what I want to do. Tonight, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to at least get the base coat on this and every single day, right? Mapping out for yourself what you want to do and just staying in that. So when you're out there by yourself, sometimes you get lost. So I hope this page will be the North Star for your business. And when you're feeling lost, come and listen to any of these business chats, get some motivation, and then put your big girl panties on and go, yeah, that's right. I'm working for me. I give 200% for somebody else. I'm ready to make, make do this for myself today. <laughs> Wait, happiness isn't thrifting? Okay, no, I didn't say that. All right, I did not say that. <laughs> oh, too funny. Happiness is when you get to do what you love every single day in your life with the people that you love. And, um, you know, anything we're doing on here is not illegal, right? So it's all good. I always say there could be worse addictions, right? There could be worse things that I'm doing out there. We're, we're finding stuff that needs some love. We're, we're spreading happiness. It's all good. Nancy says, how do you get people to your Facebook business page? Believe it or not, you start posting. And maybe that's a good question too. Maybe I'll go more uh, deeper into that one. That's a good one. That's a really good one. It's, it's very like where you start, right? Well, you're going to do all the things that I'm going to talk about in here. Going live, 
posting, say it with me, two to three times a day. And uh, I'll talk about more about the content of what you can post, but figuring out your why is going to be big for you. Because when you figure out your why, then you're going to go, okay. And you figure out like what it is that you do, then you're going to know the posts that are going to make more sense for you. All right, guys, we have been chit-chatting for an hour. Time flies when you're having fun. Happy Friday. I'll be back again tomorrow. Leave me a question. Please give me a thumbs up. I'm say, yeah, thumbs up. Leave, give me a heart, a comment. I would love it if you would take this business chat and even share the link over on your Facebook business page. If I've shared some good nuggets of information in here and you have some friends as well, a lot of times we have good business friends um, that are in our local community and they just need some motivation as well. Feel free to share this. I would love it if you would do it. And thank you for supporting me as a creator who loves to share with you guys as well. Good deal. Yeah, go back and watch all the videos. We're on day 10. So make sure you watch all the videos. What you're going to find is that there's just a natural progression of how I talk because I'm just a very, um, that's just how I talk. I talk in like the building steps, right? I don't go to the end without telling you how to set it up in the front. So going through this year, every single day, building on what I've told you, you're going to find that it's always going to give a nod back, back to what I've talked about, right? Thank you guys for the love. I really appreciate you guys. Candy says, uh, motivation is when you when your dreams put on work clothes. True that. I'm going to leave this with Candy's comment. Motivation is when your dreams put on work clothes. So show up and put on your work clothes. That would be amazing, Lisa. Thank you for your help in helping me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers very soon. All right, go out, make it happen. Do something that floats your boat, moves your business forward, and just fills your happy bucket, okay? That's what life is all about. Nancy, if you go back here on the YouTube channel, you'll see all the, um, when, this, when this ends, just go to your YouTube. You can type in, if you haven't subscribed just yet, just type in Grow with Sonia Miller, and you'll see a little thumbnail and a little, um, a little title below each one of the videos. And you can click on them and rewatch them. See you guys. Sending you out good vibes today. All right. I'm throwing them to you. Catch them. Catch them. Catch them. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You guys are so awesome. I swear. You're awesome.